Sure Justin Trudeau's visit to Newfoundland felt like a campaign stop. I have built a cabinet that is going to be uh, positioned to grow and continue to build uh, great opportunities for Canadians. But that cabinet construction is short one of his previous top ministers, David Lametti out at Justice and from cabinet completely. He has uh, led on uh, important files around justice and reconciliation. A senior government source said the biggest reason Lametti was dumped, a Montreal MP needed to go to get new tourism minister Soroya Martinez Ferreira into cabinet. The Prime Minister's office also wasn't happy with the speed of Lametti's judicial appointments and believes his replacement, Arif Farani, is better suited to handle upcoming legislation around online harms and crime in cities. Much of the Despite getting the boot, Lametti is willing to stay on as a backbencher. I intend to run in the next election whenever it may be, he posted on Facebook, making him one of three former ministers still in caucus. That could cause a headache for Justin Trudeau. Ex-ministers, um, if they aren't given another assignment, like chair of a parliamentary committee or head of some sort of exercise or role in the campaign, uh, you know, are sort of loose uh, free agents within the political system. Is this the worst it's ever been? The assignment for Christian Freeland lead the charge on sharpening the Liberals' economic message. To help her execute on that, former Defence Minister Anita Anand has been brought in as the new Treasury Board President. And despite getting a lower profile role, the Oakville MP is still viewed as a top performer by PMO. Anand had made it known she wouldn't mind an economically focused portfolio, a job that will allow her to be more visible domestically, to take on Pierre Polyev's populist and popular economic message. The notion of the government having a new strategy is not going to come from just the rearrangement of folks. It's going to come from whether or not they have a new agenda. It's no surprise to see Trudeau and Freeland in Atlantic Canada. It's the only part of the country they're still ahead of the Conservatives, Donna. But even then, it's only by one point. Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa tonight. Thanks.